The Parliamentary Committee on Information and Communication Technology and National Guidance has conducted a comprehensive tour of various UBC facilities to assess their conditions. One of such facilities, sprawling across 24 acres in Vugorovi, was historically pivot as a short-wave broadcasting point for Radio Uganda. However, this site now accommodates outdated transmission equipment that is no longer compatible with modern digital technology. As a result, there are proposals to transform it into a museum. So one would want to say that the technology which is here of short wave and medium wave should now be kept uh, as a museum for the history of this country, for how the technology of communication started from independence to now to where we are. So we think it should not be thrown away. We have proposed uh, among the three, four projects we've proposed to the board that one of them would be to build a museum, a television and radio museum at the site, which would allow for university students, uh, you know, researchers, but also um, uh, primary students to be able to see our history in terms of where we've come from, in terms of broadcasting as a country. Because this year we turned 60 in terms of television coverage. Next year we turned 70 um, for radio coverage and, and radio broadcasting. So that would be a best platform for people to go and see our history in terms of television and radio. UBC now urgently requires funding to procure new equipment that will replace the existing outdated technology. This investment is essential to prevent future damage and to ensure the continued delivery of high-quality broadcasting services. Uh, as in Toroko, we don't have any radio. It is very hard to communicate to the mass. You have to move in the sub-counties physically. Because uh, the one in Bundubujo reaches one sub-county. And of course they don't cover all the languages because we have many languages in the district. So we are requesting as a district to have UBC in Toroko, which covers the entire district, so that communication is easy. And you know we are going into digital uh, you know, uh, world now. We are left out. If there is any communication, uh, government communication, even our RDC communicating government programs, they have to travel to, to Fort Porto. And in the, when they come to Fort Porto, they reach few uh, sub-counties. They can't reach all, all the mass in, in Toroko district. In this tour, I've already seen the signs of inadequate funding for UBCs all over. Looking at the infrastructure, the equipment, and you really see signs of inadequate resources for UBC. Most of the equipment do not have redundancy. In the event that the equipment breaks down, there's no backup. This means transmission or TV service will be interrupted. Showing them the need of uh, replacing the above equipment with new and also upgrading some of them to enhance our coverage reach in the whole country. Support our need to move to, to migrate to digital to DTH, which is uh, direct to home transmission, which would allow Ugandans access TV by just you know download by having a, a satellite and just downloading the picture for free and being able to watch that channel at home anywhere in Uganda. During the tour, the vice chairperson of the ICT and National Guidance Committee noted that land grabbing is one of the key issues facing UBC and the committee pledged its support towards resolving these concerns. Sada Mubale, UBC News, Kampala.